in this gate 2026 how you can have a single digit rank so there are some set of goals there are some set of things that you have to follow and when you will follow with the help of full dedication with the help of you know full hearted dedications and full hard work then nobody can stop you to get into that try to find out the which topics they are mainly focusing and try to learn it from the nptel lectures then only it will be fruitful hello dear students today we will be discussing about the gate 2026 and in this gate 2026 how you can have a single digit rank see basically there are so many strategies that we have to follow there are predefined strategies that we have to follow and if you clearly follow those predefined strategies then surely you will get a single digit rank so there are you know there are so many points that we have to discuss but there are predefined topics that where when you will focus then definitely you can get those type of marks into that for example suppose if there is one person and if that person needs to be a successful businessman or if that person needs to be successful entrepreneur so there are predefined some set of path there are predefined some set of goals that person whenever that person follows that goal or whenever that person follows that path with the help of full dedication with the help of full hard work then nobody can stop that person to achieve you know to become a very good businessman or to become a very good entrepreneur so in the same way if you people are also targeting for gate 2026 so there are some set of goals there are some set of things that you have to follow and when you will follow with the help of full dedication with the help of you know full hearted dedications and full hard work then nobody can stop you to get into that so in this today sessions we will be talking about the best book and then best resources and best preparation strategies so let's go and let's talk about it so for example suppose when i'll be talking about the books so books plays a very vital role in terms of your preparation strategies for example many time the student does not follows the book uh, and sometimes you know this books are very much important for those students who are preparing independently because they do not have idea from which topic you are getting from where so those students who are watching this video and you people are preparing online or you are not engaged anywhere you are not enrolled anywhere so i can suggest you for you some type of books and how to study that so that is one criteria and the second criteria those people who have enrolled to gfg or to enrolled anywhere so those student can also follows this type of books so those students they can use this book for uh, you know the question practices because many times it has been seen that the gate directly take questions from this type of books and it has been seen into the history uh, for example suppose if i talk about kenneth h rosen this book i can show you page number also i can show you the question number also the gate has taken the questions okay so i think whatever i am talking about any type of different types of books the gate has already taken the questions from it so it has already been seen into the history so in future also you can expect some questions so first i will be talking about those students who are not engaged anywhere who are not enrolled anywhere they are preparing independently so what do you people have to do first you download the gate syllabus and try to see that okay in operating system what are the topics they have written so in digital logic what are the topics they have written so thoroughly you have to buy this book okay or you can borrow from uh, your friends or somewhere and then uh, try to go and try to read those type of topics from there and either you also try to take help of all the different types of faculties the respected faculties so for example suppose if you are pre preparing independently or preparing uh, uh, without any coaching or without anything so what you can do you can take a help of chandan sir and you will ask to him sir what are the topics that i should prepare from morris mano so it will also be a beneficial point of view so for discrete mathematics blindly you can go for kenneth h rosen digital logic blindly you can go for morris mano programming again blindly you can go for dennis ricci so uh, there is one more book that i can suggest you with respect to programming and then that is nothing but yashwant kanetkar those people who are new to programming you have never studied programming in your college not properly then first you can follow the yashwant kanetkar try to read one or two topics from yashwant kanetkar uh, c programming and then later you can move to dennis ricci then you can understand the loop and then uh, the arrays and then pointer in a better way okay so you will get a uh, yashwant kanetkar has written in a in a beautiful manner you'll 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 not feel like that you're reading any book you'll feel like that you're reading some novel so uh, get to know that yashwant kanetkar book and try to read one or two chapters at least for looping section try to go for yashwant kanetkar if you are if you have not studied the programming anywhere or not properly 
but if you know the concept of programming but if you want to increase your concept then you can follow the dennis ritchie data structures and algorithm you know you can follow the corman corman is basically for algorithm uh, data structures i think you can follow there are so many books with respect to data structures i think you can follow the tangram also with respect to data structures and theory of computation you can follow the michael sibzers there are so many books also but this is has been written in good in a norm, uh, novel way computer network you can follow the peterson and bruce or one more book i can recommend you uh, you can follow frozen frozen is very good with respect to computer network when you want to learn that is a very large book uh, it has more than 200 pages but you will not feel like that you are reading like uh, in one day you can cover 50 to 60 pages if you are very hardcore reader so that frozen is also very good for program uh, for problem you can follow this book computer organizations uh, you know you can follow the hamacher which is very very good book operating system no doubt galvin dbms navate and one more book that i can uh, follow that course is also very good okay and compiler design ao and ulman this is the bible linear algebra you can follow the gilbert strang and uh, so these all are the important things these all are the important books but still if you sometimes uh you know it is totally based on the experience of the student sometimes if you read one book then you will not you do not get all the concepts so at that point of time you can contact any person you can contact me i can give you the other book also so for example like uh, here computer network there are so many books frozen mostly student uses once you will comfortable with frozen you can go for tanenbaum also which is also andrew tanenbaum which is also very good computer organization blindly bible of uh, amateur and then uh, operating system bible galvin dbms navati is very good korth is also very good and uh, raghurama krishna is also very good so there are three different books with respect to dbms compiler design no doubt aho and ulman discrete mathematics and probability kenneth h rosen blindly follow whatever the questions they have given just stall you will get all the marks into that digital logic morris mano is also there and uh, there is one more book i right now rp jain yes there is one more book rp jain you can also follow that for problems you can follow this programming i gave you two books theory of computation i think michael sibzer is there and one more book is there but i'm uh, right now i'm not getting that name uh, for toc you can contact uh, uh, you know uh, malaysian sir deva sir he will give you the list of books which will be very beneficial you can try to study from there okay now let's talk about uh, the best resources for gate 2026 so the first best resources that you can have that official previous year questions you can download it from official websites or you can also use the gfg website so that you can get the previous year questions which is very important mock test full length and subject wise and topic wise if you do not have the idea related to mock test you can also follow the gfg uh, test series link so we have launched the test series which is a very beneficial for the students in 999 so those students who do not have about the idea related to the you know test series uh, you can see that here in gate 2026 we have already launched the test series da test series and csit test series and these all are very very uh, easy and we have given plenty of questions into that so that is also very very important okay now nptel lectures those students who have not again engaged anywhere you can blindly follow the nptel lectures but try to understand ki NPTEL lectures contains many videos. Uh, sometimes it is useful for GATE, and sometimes it is not useful for GATE. If it is not useful for GATE, basically they are useful for you know research purpose and all. So first, you should know that what to study, what not to study, and who will tell you that the previous year question. So when you will try to go through go through the previous year question, try to find out the which topics they are mainly focusing, and try to learn it from the NPTEL lectures. Then only it will be fruitful. now if i'll be talking about the uh, you know gate over a point of view then you will have 100 marks and 85 marks will be of technical and 50 15 marks for aptitude okay and in this also 15 marks will be dedicated for mathematics so if will 15 for 15 marks for mathematics 15 for 15 marks for aptitude if will combinedly prepare 30 marks you can easily get it from this 30 marks i mean totally 30 marks if will do a little bit of hard work definitely you can get more than 25 26 you'll have a 3 hours time and one third for negative for one marks two third negative for two marks and no negative for msq and that type of question this is basically your exam point of view in exam point of view as you can easily understand that uh, basically 
all there are 12 subjects 10 to 12 subjects in this 10 to 12 subjects there will be one time one day you will have that examination within three hours you have to take care about each and everything that means you have to recall every subjects every topic every subtopics that they will be going and they will be asking into that question suppose if they are giving the 65 question that does not mean that it is totally based on the 65 concepts no this 65 questions may contains more than 200 concepts more than 300 concepts because sometimes two concepts they are merging into one type of question three concepts they are merging into one type of question so that is also very good okay now uh, best preparation strategies for gate so those students who are preparing from NPTEL or from where to solve this type of questions so for theory of computation you can focus on this topic regular expression DFA NFA context free grammars and languages Turing machine and decidability so you take this topic go to NPTEL and then paste it you can see the videos and try to solve the previous year question so that's how you can start your preparation strategy you can also take our test series which will be very beneficial and then topic wise you can solve all the questions and still if you do not know how to prepare so we have also launched uh, you know the batches related to this so you know you can join these batches so that you can start your preparation strategy without any conflict or without any you know problematic thing okay now compiler design you can focus on this topic ll1 lr1 parses lexical and syntax analysis intermediate code generation and optimization so for more uh, important topics you can also contact the Malishan sir Deva sir he will guide you in better way so these all are the frequently asked questions so we have prepared the PPT on this computer network you can focus on IP addressing subnetting routing error detection and OSPF and then RCP TCP UDP congestion control these all are the important topics frequently you can get a questions from here now if I talk about computer organization and architecture you will have a cache organization replacement policies pipelining data control and hazards addressing mode instruction formats so again you know i'm not telling you go and prepare start from cache organization no you should have a little bit idea about the computer organization you should have the basic of that so if you're preparing from nptl that is also very good if you're preparing from us you can also watch our youtube videos which is available on youtube there are so many videos we have done uh, for example you know eight hours revision 10 hours revision we have also taken into uh, this GFG platform, YouTube platform. If it is not available on English language, uh, English channel, you can go to uh, the normal, the plain GFG channel. There you can find out many revision classes. So that is also very beneficial. So you can understand the starting point and later you can prepare from NPTEL. District logic, Boolean algebra, KMAP, logic gates, flip flop, multiplexes, number system, binary octal hexa, convergence, algorithm, sorting, quick merge, space and time complexities. Graph algorithms like BFS, DFS, DISTRA, MST, recurrence relations and then dynamic programming, greedy approach. So these all are the important, important topics that you can understand from algorithms point of view. Operating systems, scheduling like FCFS, SJF, round robin, page replacement like LRU, FIFO, synchronization, semaphores and deadlocks, virtual memory and disk scheduling. These all are the important topics. Again, I'm telling you. Uh, these all are the frequently asked the question, but do not directly go and start from scheduling. So try to watch the Khalil sir videos, lectures for revision classes. Once you will have that idea, starting one or two hours, you will get that idea. Then later you can go into this. Or for most important topic, again, you can contact to Khalil sir. He will tell you, he will guide you in a best way. Programming binary trees, BST, tree traversal, stacks, queues, heap, linked list, hashing and collision resolution. Uh, discrete mathematics you can talk about for example logic propositional logic and first order logic graph theory bfs dfs euler hamiltonian graph set theory relations functions combinatorics permutation combinations and then group theory and there are two more topics that i want to include into this generating function and recurrence relation which is also very very important database management sql queries relational algebra normalization transactions concurrency control acid properties indexing and b trees so these all are the important important topics with respect to engineering mathematics linear algebra probability calculus are the main important topics and aptitude you can solve focus on solving previous 15 years question so instead of 15 uh, sorry uh, you if you try to solve this aptitude questions you will get the more idea ki what kind of questions they are asking and then later you can follow some book like rs agarwal it will be very beneficial okay so these all are the important important topics 
and for practice and revision regular revision and target mock test so try to go for weekly revision or try to go for monthly revision and uh, revision does not improve every day but definitely revision improves after some amount of time so trust on the process trust do the revision do the mock test and definitely you can aim for single digit rank we have also launched isro and nic batch for 5999 so those students who want to join they can also join this is our group uh, telegram link you can also join for your doubts and related to that so i hope that i have given you the books i gave you the most important important topics so you will try to prepare and whatever the doubts you will have please reach out to us at any point of time we'll help you into that so thank you so much have a great day to all of you